Hello, I'm back. This is Mr. Tipton, and today we are multiplying and dividing fractions. Multiplying is actually really easy. You just multiply the numerators, multiply the denominators, and then you reduce. Straight across the top, 12 times 6 is equal to 12, and 3 times 7 is equal to 21. 12 21sts reduces. The biggest number that goes into 12 and 21 is 3. That's going to give us 4 sevenths. Lots easier than combining. Um, one thing I like to do multiplying fractions is I like to reduce early whenever it's possible. Reducing early, when you do that, you can take anything on top of your fractions, anything in the numerators, and reduce it with anything in the denominator. Anything on top with anything on bottom. Here in example 2, we have 2 thirds times 6 sevenths. If you notice, it's the same problem as example 1. 2 thirds times 6 sevenths. But here's what I mean by reducing early. Okay? 3 and 6 both have a common factor it's 3. 3 goes into 3 one time and 3 goes into 6 two times. So now instead of multiplying the 3 times, or I'm sorry, the 2 times 6, I'm going to do the 2 times 2, which is 4. Instead of multiplying 3 times 7, I'm going to do 1 times 7 to get 7. Okay, 4 sevenths which if you notice is the same answer as example one. One way is just reducing early. I like reducing early because it means you're multiplying smaller numbers and you don't have as big a numbers to reduce at the end. But you can do it any way you like. Example three, a negative times a positive. The signs are different, so my answer is going to be negative. And I want to reduce early. I know 5 and 15 both have a common factor of 5. 5 goes into 5 one time, and 5 goes into 15 three times. 8 and 10 also have a common factor of 2. 2 goes into 8 four times, and 2 goes into 10 five times. So now we have 1 times 5 is 5, and 4 times 3 is 12. And we already knew it was negative because the signs were different. Negative 5 twelfths. So multiplying is actually really easy and dividing is uh, almost as easy. Okay, instead of, uh, instead of dividing what we're going to do on a division problem is we're going to flip the second fraction and multiply. First off, negative divided by negative is going to be positive, so I'm not worried about that. But whenever you're dividing fractions, the first fraction stays the same. Never flip the first fraction. It's just one-fourth, and we're going to be multiplying by five-halves. See what I did? Instead of two-fifths, I have five-halves flip and multiply. Okay, uh, you Think about it like this. Um, half of a hundred is fifty. Let me write it off to the side. Half of a hundred or half times a hundred is fifty. Okay, um, one hundred divided by two which is really 2 over 1, is also 50. Multiplying by a half and dividing by 2 are the same thing. Okay, so dividing by 2 fifths and multiplying by 5 halves are the same thing. These are called uh, reciprocals. R-E-C-I-P-R-O-C-A-L-S. Reciprocals are they're, they're opposites, they're inverse. Uh, when you multiply reciprocals, they equal one. Um, anyway, that's just a little bit of extra information. 
Uh, flip and multiply. Can I reduce early here? Doesn't look like it. So 1 times 5 is 5, and 4 times 2 is 8. Negative 1 fourth divided by negative 2 fifths is positive 5 eighths. One more together. We have a mixed number divided by a fraction. The signs are different, so my answer is going to be negative. And I'm going to need to make my mixed number into a fraction. So 3 times, or I'm sorry, 4 times 3 is 12, plus 3 is going to give me 15 fourths divided by 7 tenths. But remember, we're not going to divide. Instead, we're going to flip the second fraction and multiply by the reciprocal. The 10 sevenths is the reciprocal of 7 tenths. Um, I've, seen, I've seen people talk about KFC when it comes to dividing fractions. Kentucky Fried Chicken, but in, when dividing fractions it stands for keep, flip, and change. So the first fraction we keep. The 15 fourths stays the same. Flip is obvious. 7 tenths becomes 10 sevenths. And then change means changing the, uh, the division to multiplication. So if that helps you remember, you can do that too. Keep, flip, change, KFC. Uh, I like Popeyes myself, but KFC is all right, I'm sure. Um, anyway, now that we are multiplying, we can reduce early. I'm going to reduce the 4 and the 10. 2 goes into 4 twice, and 2 goes into 10 five times. And I think that's it, top and bottom. 15 times 5 is uh, 75, and 2 times 7 is 14. Oh, and i got to remember it's negative, because the signs were different. Okay, so there's your quick review over multiplying and dividing fractions. Uh, if you have questions, write them down, and we will discuss them soon. See you soon.